Hi everyone, this is Shashidhar. In this video, we will see how to use form helper in Codeigniter. In last tutorial, we have seen routing. So this was the last page what I got in last tutorial. Okay, to begin with, we will add one form to second page. So I will go to second page. I am using Genie Editor, so I will open that. Okay. So in views we have second page for second page I will try to add one simple form so we'll give the application name as to do list so in this we'll create a form so to work with form we have to use the form helper so we have to use the library called form so we'll see how to add library in Codeigniter we have to load the helper called form so I'll copy this so here I'll add load the helper form helper and I'll remove the display function. Okay. So then to add, for example, I have, I'll try to for a to-do list to adding new to-do list. I have to create a simple form with two fields, at least one field. So one is entering the text, and one more is entering the deadline date. Okay, and one submit button. These three th things should be there to create a to-do list. So form helper is loaded and I'll go to the second page view file. So here, usually in HTML we are, we are using input type equal to this tag we are continuing. This tag we are continuing. So instead of that we can use the inbuilt form helper which is there in the code editor. So we'll use that and to start the form we have to open the form tag. I'll open this. So this should be written inside PHP tags because it is a PHP. So form open and it should be submitted to whatever name I'm using here. So I use second page slash save. Okay. So to create an entire form tag, no need to type entire form tag in HTML. So we can just use form open. Form is opened. I will close the form by using form close, form open, and form close to close the form tag. Okay, so I'll save and we'll see the HTML page, uh, our output, and I'll view the view. So, here you can see form action is equal to second page save method equal to post. By default, it will use the post method and form end. So, this is the code. Now in between we have to add a text box. So we'll see how to add a text box. For adding the text box, we have the function called form input. So to create an input field, we'll see the function called form input. I'll copy this. I cannot enter thing in PHP tag. So echo form input name of the name of the name attribute what value are going to save for name attribute we can specify as a fa first parameter that will be the name of the text box and this is the second parameter is the value which you are going to set 
so i'll change it to something else like uh, topic and i'll keep blank so i can remove the second parameter i'll save and we'll see the output so it will display on text box okay so we'll give the label also so we'll give the label for that text box I made a mistake here and I didn't close PHP tag. Okay. So topic text box. And one more thing we have to add is date we'll see later. One more thing what we have to add is date. So I'll copy this same text box and change it to date. And I'll name the text box as date. Okay. One more is submit button. And I'll use one more element that is submit. Form submit. And what is the name of the submit button? Say I'll use name submit button itself and value for the submit button add topic okay i'll save so we'll see the output what we are getting so to topic date and add topic so okay if i click it will go to the second page save so save is not this so that's why it is displaying there and i'll display in different lines i'll use br now so later we'll see how to integrate bootstrap to same same form save so topic date and submit so three elements created when you when i submit it has to send the data to the save function of second i'll go to controller form controller file and as I mentioned in the view, it is sending the data to second page controller and save function. Okay, so I'll create a new function called save. Public function save. And I'll display enter details in the text box. So we'll see how to get it this input so input details you can fetch using this statement post so if I am using post method in the form I have to use post if I am using get method then get then which element which element data we need so I used I have created the text box with the name topic and one more text box with the top uh, name date okay okay now we'll see refresh the page say i'll create a new topic called um, create database okay db it should complete before 30th of november so okay now we have to validate if i submit blank also for example if i submit okay if i submit blank still it will send the data to save okay so we have to block that thing so we'll see how to add a validation so one thing is one concept is adding the validation in the html form in the view itself we can add the validation scripts using javascript and in the server side also we can put the validation so code ignitor gives form validation library we'll see how to use it we'll see 
form validation document of codeignator form validation library we have to load so i'll copy this and put it in my code okay then we have to check the validation we have to run the validation process so i'll copy this entire content okay so library is loaded and validating running the validation of uh, forms if there is any uh, error in validation so it will return the form fail otherwise form success okay save and we can set the rules also so what should be the what validation we have to apply for a form element so we have the statement for that set rules so we have set rules so for which element so we have the topic element and we have date element so and this is the what should be displayed if i am displaying the error message with which title it should display so we can use topic so this should match with the whatever name i have given in the form okay required in the sense the some content should be there and i can specify it should be alphabetic or it should be numeric so these things we can specify so what all things we can specify we will see the one thing is required is some content should be there and it should be whether it should be valid email whether it should be unique the meaning of is unique and this statement is it will check the database user users table and in that email field so if entered email is not there in this email field then it will pass the validation otherwise it will give error message and these are these things you can use so so if this returns true that indicates that validation is passed otherwise it will return false and we can display the particular error message so in this case we'll redirect the data to the in some cases we are using different pages for um, failure in the validation and success in the validation we can use different pages we can manage say a second page fail second page success so you can create different pages to display different messages to the user so in this case we'll use the same same view file okay so this can be used in the view page so i use that i'll paste here if there is any error in the validation it will display the message here i'll refresh the page go back enter and add topic so to display message like topic field is required date field is required to notify no errors so we can add something like this that means i am displaying no view, no error view page then second page then footer okay so we'll add that content new file error.php ca views folder save so i'll just display echo or i'll just display no error okay now we'll see it 
it will display no error so here <coughs> if I enter say skip one part submit it will display date field is required and if I enter both the fields a topic list in order. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and share this video. See you in next tutorial.